Our next guest believes it's not good enough just to live a long life if you're not living a healthy one. So he made this seven part docu-series. It's called Healthy Long Life, which explores the keys to healthy aging through interviews with the world's top experts, chefs, cancer survivors, and people who are 100 years old or more. Daniel Kennedy is the writer and director, and he joins us now with a nutritionist who is featured in the film, Rosa Contreras Testada. Good morning to both of you. Hey, Good it's morning. great to be here, and you nailed her name, so <laughs> kudos to you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. It's wonderful to talk to you guys. I have to tell you, I'm fascinated by this topic. Earlier in the show, we celebrated a woman who's turning 90 years old. I think people are awesome. always fascinated about the key to not just a long life, but a long, healthy life. Yeah, I think Betty White just turned 99, too. So, you know, there are people out there and that's what I did. I took the cameras around the world. We went to some blue zones, to longevity capital of the world, to talk to people in their 90s that are still working out on their family farms or in their cafe. How did you live a healthy long life? But then we also spoke to the experts at the World Health Organization, at the University of Beijing and China, uh, University of Delhi and India, Cancer Research UK, the Max Planck Institute. We went everywhere we could. And what we found out was that genes are only determining between five and 10% of all cancers that people experience, but lifestyle, healthy habits, and traditions from the past can lead us to live a healthy, long life. So Daniel, I'm dying to know, were there any surprises for you in some of the keys to a healthy, long life? Well, there were surprises. One was in Sardinia. We were up in the Granite Mountains and we were about five miles away from the nearest town. And we had to stop because these uh, five elderly men, the youngest was about 80 years old, were crossing the, the two lane road with their sheep and their goats. And when we got to the next town, I asked about that and they said, oh yeah, those guys take their sheep up and their goats up to graze in the morning. They come back to town and then they go in the evening to bring them back. And I'm like, wait, we're five miles out of town. So these 80 year old men were walking in the mountains in the morning, they're five miles, five miles back, that's 10 miles. And then they had to get them. These guys are walking between 15 and 20 miles a day and they're in their 80s, get out. And that was one of the moments that I realized there's so much to do to get healthy, and one of them is being active. Yeah, and nutrition is so important too. What did you learn from cancer patients as it relates to nutrition, Rosa? Well, traveling around was super fun, and it was very exciting to see that everybody has, you know, different little tricks or secrets and <laughs> stuff in their families. But one of the key things that we saw is that everybody that we've, you know, talk to actually eat fresh foods. So very, very important to add those, you know, vegetables to your life, uh, fruits, uh, legumes, herbs, teas, all of those things really do impact how your immune system works. So it, it's great to see it that not only we do it here, but we are also seeing it around the world and how a big change is made you know is made and we saw that with cancer survivors they were willing to make the change so we see the cancer survivors that are changing their diet but then we got to talk to the experts like dr t colin campbell dr michael gregor uh, dr caldwell esselstyn that explained the science be uh, be uh, behind it and what they told us was that the food we eat have nutrients that go into our bodies, talk to ourselves, and play our DNA like a piano. And that is just so empowering that cancer and heart disease and diabetes don't have to be your uh, uh, future, even if you have genetic tendencies toward it. You can override those bad genes. And nutrition is key, and that's why Rose is with us today. I know there's a bonus uh, episode um, with expert commentary on how to come back strong from COVID-19. So, so tell us a little bit about what you learned about a long, healthy life as it relates specifically to the pandemic and this virus. Well, the CDC has been so good at, at stressing that we should wear masks, wash our hands, social distance, 
All of those things are true and important, but I went back to the experts like Dr. Francisco Contreras, Dr. Hans Diel, Dr. Michael Greger, and they brought up a, a different point, which is most people who are not doing well against COVID-19 have comorbidities, which means that they have more than one illness. And uh, the most common is obesity. And so you can do something about that. You can use our cooking app. You can start to lose weight. You'll do better against COVID-19. And then our expert, Dr. Eric Naputi, pointed out that 77% of all Americans are deficient in vitamin D3 and zinc. And those uh, vitamins and minerals are so important in our fight against COVID-19. So on healthylonglife.com, not only can you push the button to see our documentary series, but you can push a button where you'll get free zinc and D3 sent to you by Dr. Eric Naputi. So Healthy Long Life is all about empowering you. And we should have some fun along with it because it's fun to eat healthy food, believe it or not. It is. I agree. We ran out of time. Thank you both so much for your time. Fascinating docu-series. Thank you, Thank Molly. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Here now is the information so you can catch it. It's a seven part docuseries called Healthy Long Life, streaming now on Amazon and Apple. For more information, go to the website we just mentioned, healthylonglife.com.